Hi, I'm Egg from the Fill in the Gaps podcast, and today I'm here at Fizz Inc. Tattoo Studio. I'm here with... Fizz. And what style do you do and what's your role here? Um, I do colourful stuff and I tattoo and own the shop. L. Um, it's kind of like illustrative realism slash fine line. Alicia Marie. Um, I do pretty dot worky things, lots of flowers. Sandra. Uh, black and grey ornate and a bit of black work. Leash. Uh, illustrative black work. What goes first, milk or cereal? Probably, definitely cereal first. I don't know who does milk first. That's illegal. Uh, cereal, um, but it's got to be soggy. Well, no, the cereal goes first, then the milk. But then you have to wait until the cereal gets moist. It has to like absorb everything. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it has to like bathe a little bit. You got to put hot water first and then a little bit of milk to cool it off and then you just like let it like put like a lot of water so it really sogs it up. Why do you like it unmoist? <laughs> cereal 100% then just a little bit of milk. So that it's not soggy? No soggy cereal here. Definitely cereal. Good. Do you like it crunchy or soggy like some other people? Not soggy like those weirdos. Definitely crunchy. Good. Good. That's the right answer. What exotic animal would you most want as a pet? Panther. I think if you adopted it when it was like a kitten and then raised it, it would be like trained, I guess. So it wouldn't eat me, ideally. Ideally, in an ideal world. What would you name said panther? Bagheera. I think it's from the original Disney's Jungle Book. A sloth. Do you just want it in your house or do you want to go on adventures with said sloth? No, just hang out with me. Just sleep? Yeah. Just chill. What would the sloth's name be? Oh, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> sloth. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say sloth or an ocelot. What's an ocelot? It's like a big tree cat. They got like the really big googly eyes. What would their names be, either of them? If I had a sloth, I'd say something that- Sloth? <laughs> Absolutely not sloth. <laughs> it would need to be like a gentleman name, like something really distinguished. For sure. Maybe like an old man's name. Gerald. Mm, yeah, something like that. Rupert. A seahorse. A seahorse. Okay, what would you name the seahorse and what colour would you want the seahorse to be? Probably like Frank or something like that. Frank? Yeah. Okay. And what colour ideally, if you could choose? Yellow. That's my favourite colour. Either a polar bear or a panda would be pretty elite. Okay. What would you name them? I don't think about that. Fizz the panda. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. yeah. Very fitting. Yeah. Very fizzing. <laughs> What's your favourite movie? Um, oh. um, I'd have to say Harry Potter or the Titanic. Probably Harry Potter. Which one? Oh, it changes all of them. Oh, everyone loves the Goblet of Fire. No, I can't pick one. Sorry. <laughs> Goblet of Fire it is. I can say what movie I liked the most recently and that was Dune 2. So. Okay. Yeah. Was Dune your favourite movie before Dune 2 no, came out? I didn't really like Well, it's not that I didn't like it, but I just didn't vibe so much with Dune 1. Probably Interstellar. It's a real head scratcher, you know. Do you, Do you understand it? It took me a couple of goes and like a lot of pausing and explaining, you know, um, and subtitles. Okay. We definitely need subtitles. How to Train Your Dragon has been a strong one for like a decade now. Okay. Yeah. Is there a remake of that or is it just one movie? It's three, um, but I don't watch the two others because they're just like sad. The ten things I hate about you. Name name all ten of them. Ten things I hate about yeah. you. No, I don't hate anything about you. Okay. 